Hey guys, I'm still in the middle of collecting some more pollen, but um, we're going to pollinate this flower now. I just want to remove a, a few more of these tiny pollen distributors, so to speak, you know, they, they hold the pollen and yeah, that's it. You know, this is how it looks like when I cut something off. I make, I put this in, into the bag and it allows me to get pollen at any time, no matter what part of year. I, this year I made uh, my first pollinations with pollen from 2018. It was last year's pollen, but if you store it correctly, the pollen stays fresh for years, you know? You can freeze pollen, you just have to make sure it's dry and then it will remain viable. So, this is it. Now this is the last bag. I mean, this, this plant gets a lot more flowers, you know? There's only so much pollen you can use and um, I don't want to collect more pollen now, but I will do so later. So now I'm getting my my pollen container. Like this is a froze this. There's a bag and some some salt that I use to to keep the pollen dry. I have a lot of different types of pollen in here, and uh, I will just get the one that I that I picked for this. For this uh, hybrid, it's Cantora Gelb crossed with Wurlitz, you know, these are from last year. I'm not sure if they are still viable, but it's highly likely, you know, you never know. You never know before you try it, you know, it's, pollen can, can become unviable very fast. But uh, in most cases, it's still viable. Check out, this is how the... How the brush looks like this is how much pollen i use for pollination and i will do another pollination later on so you cannot after the pollination you cannot put the same brush into the bag again because otherwise you bring pollen from this plant and mix it with your with your donor pollen so yeah now i'll pollinate this guy very gently you know um the father that i use here is is yellow has a yellow flower and also has the parentage from the Wurlitz. Wurlitz is a great great father and mother it's a better mother than the father and um, I'm using it for a lot of crosses because it produces some incredibly great results so this is the first brush there's almost no more pollen on it I brought a second one that I will use and um, what is it now? I'm standing on it. All right, here is it. So now I'll take another swap of pollen and pollinate it again, just to make sure it succeeds. And later today, in a few hours, I will pollinate again. You know, repeated pollinations increase your success rate dramatically. You know, so this flower is now pollinated. I now have three, three brushes that need to be um, disinfected. And I have a lot of pollen that I collected from this plant that I can use to uh, pollinate others. See, this is the, this is my, my pollen bag, you know, and I have another one, a huge one. You know, last year I collected pollen from pretty much every plant. That I that I have and yeah it's it's a great tool to have pollen available all the time I will show this in a video sometime soon you know the whole process of pollen storage and how to and how to do with this and um, yeah you guys can participate and see see every every stuff that I make you know all the failures and all the successes like uh, not all crosses succeed you know sometimes you just you're, you're just out of luck 
but um, I would still let you let you participate in everything I do. Now this bag has a little bit air in it and I need to get it out. All right, now it fits. So this this guy gets back into the into the freezer now. Um, I gotta clean it, or otherwise my wife will 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 give will spank me. You know, it's a little bit dirty at the bottom, but I'll clean this up now, and then I'll put it into the freezer again right away. I don't want this to to unfreeze now. You know, it's just um, it's just better for the pollen. If it stays frozen and I only take this out for a few minutes to, minutes to pollinate and then I'm I'm focusing then I'm bringing it back into the freezer so here this is the, the flower that I pollinated I'm showing you the label so you know what it is it it says BS for Ingo Bartels 07 1558 <laughs> oh, sorry this was a mix of German and English it says 071558. It's the first season. It's the first seedling from this cross, and it's from 2007. This is a great and a nice parent, a nice hybrid. I'm proud to have it in my collection, and I see myself using this a few times in the next in the future. Just look at how healthy it is, how much flower buds it has. It's just a a great plant. So now. I'll just move this guy in a way that it doesn't fall. I'll leave it like this and uh, I'll check in a few times later and I will make another pollination later today. So yeah, this is it. Hope you enjoyed my video. Please recommend me because this is this is a great channel. We're, we're, we're showing everything and uh, you, can, you can participate and, and just have a great time with us. Alright guys, bye.